Hi and welcome to our channel, the best place to learn how to use and master Canva. In today's tutorial, I'll show you 10 font combinations for 2021. These are the 10 fonts that I'll show you today and I'll give you the name to all of them so you can find them all for free in Canva. So because all of these fonts are for free, um, anyone with a Canva free account or a Canva Pro account can follow this video. And make sure to watch until the end of this video so you don't miss any of the fonts. I'm also going to leave a link to all the 10 templates plates I used in this tutorial in the description of the video. So are you guys ready to start? Let's go to my computer. Okay, so if you like any of the fonts that I'm going to show you today, you can take a photo or maybe a screenshot so you can take the name of the font with you. And if you share these on your social media, tag me so I can see which font you prefer. Or you can also let me know in the comments. Okay, so let's start. I have here my 10 font combination or trendy font combinations for 2021. All of these fonts, you can find them in Canva. So just go to Canva and try to find the fonts that I'm going to show you. Okay, let's go. Uh, this first combo or font combination, I'm just going to call them combo. And this first combo is a very elegant and modern. I will say also it has kind of like a feminine touch. Uh, to it. So let's see what are the names of these fonts. And this is the name of the title font or yeah, the biggest font that you see here. This is the Roxborough uh, CF theme. And then for the body or also the subtitle, you can find it as HK grotesque light. As you can see, it has like a very clean, modern and elegant style. So yeah, I really like this um, font combination, especially for presentations or as you can see here, like some graphics for products or cosmetics. This is really cool. Okay, so let's go to the second font combination. This one, um, I selected it because I've seen that a lot of you are like virtual assistant or female coach. So I decided to go for this font combination because I think many of you uh, like this style. So yeah, we're going to see the name of the biggest font at the back and then these like handwritten fonts. And this is how will you use these fonts in a real life example. So here on the title, the name of this font is Core Morant Caramond Bold. And then for the handwritten font, you are going to type Jonathan. This font might be maybe not so easy to read if you are going to use it for small text. So it's better to use it uh, when you're going to have something like this, just like maybe one or two words. And I would suggest to use it in a bigger size. So let me just go back to Canva and just going to select the Jonathan text box. So you can see here, this is the way you should type it. And if you make it really small, then it will be quite difficult to read so yeah we would suggest to use it big like this maybe put it on top and then i was uh, just wanted to show you before going to the presentation view here we have core morant uh, let me show you gara garamond bold and then on these other text boxes we have exactly the same font but here we are playing with the size. So the title is the biggest text box and then the subtitle is just a smaller version. We also use all caps. So make sure to keep this button activated because if we deactivate it, then we have the normal case. 
And for the body, we are going to use again the same font, Cormorant Caramond Bold. <laughs> I don't know why I keep repeating this uh, name. I know it's very difficult to pronounce, but anyways. So you're going to use exactly the same font, but you are going to use small caps. So this button uh, as it is, don't activate it. And you would like to use a lighter color, color for um, the text body. So yeah, just wanted to show you that with only two fonts, you can have so many variations in the same design. So this is pretty cool. And I guess we should go to the next combination. Okay, so this is combo number three. And with this font combination, uh, I think it will be easy to create or to have this retro uh, classic aesthetic style. I think this is going to be very trendy in 2021. It was already trendy in uh, 2020. But I guess this year is going to maybe evolve and be more present. Okay, so let's go uh, to the name of these fonts. So the title, this font is uh, Gatwick Bold. And for the body, we're going to use Open Source Light. So yeah, it's a, a pretty cool font and it's so easy to use. The Gatwick Bolt is so easy to use. I really, really recommend it. I actually really like it. <laughs> okay, next slide. Here we have our combo number four and these font combinations are going to help us um, create this Memphis trend or graphic trend that is uh, also going to be present in 2021 it was as i already said with the previous uh design trend memphis it was already present in 2020 but i guess we are going to see another evolution or we're going to keep seeing this memphis trend as it is this year and for the titles you are going to be using a grandeur and for the other um like subtitles or text body you are going to use telegraph so you see here telegraph bold uh, yes so for this subtitle we are going to use telegraph but we are going to activate the bold effect and then for the body you are just going to use telegraph so again let's go back to canva to make this very very clear so let's see here in this case, we only have one box, you see, one text box. And when I go on top of the subtitle, you are going to see that we have telegraph, but we also have the bold option activated. So like that we can have our subtitles. And then for uh, the body, we have only telegraph without any of these options activated. So yeah, this uh, trend design is also pretty cool. It's kind of like a retro as well, like uh, having these geometrical shapes and kind of like old school computer windows. So yeah, it's a pretty cool trend. Let's go now to the next combination. Okay, so this one, is more uh, a playful font i would say like very retro very groovy font and this font you can also use it for this other design trend that has a lot of stickers and it has also like very colorful or bright colors so let's go and check these fonts out the title for the title you are going to use this golf's display font and then for the complementary fonts or the body text you are going to use source sans pro and if you want because this uh, sticker pop style is very bold and very uh, big and bright you would like to use uh, the bold feature activated on your source sans pro 
so I also want to show you something else in this specific uh, title because for this font or for this specific design we are using one of the, the sorry my my tongue cut <laughs> we are going to use one of the text effects in Canva these effects are free so anyone can do this or use this feature so let's go to back to Canva and here um, yeah just want to show you that this text box has one effect in this font the name of this font is Colps Display as I already mentioned but when we go to the effects button we have the splice effect on top of this font so this will help us have this line around the words or each letter but if you just use the colors display your font is going to look like this without the lines surrounding the letters so what you're going to do is go to splice and then you need to adjust the offset so we don't see these empty spaces so let's reduce it to can be zero and then you're just going to change the color inside the text so let's use the yellow that I was using before and that will be it for this specific style or this specific design so let's go back to our presentation and let's discover our next font combination so here we have our combo number six and this one i will say that it has a more playful and fun vibe um, as you can see here the combo number six it has more like a handwritten feeling or also like a display style feeling so yeah i actually like personally really really like this font and the name of this font is actually really funny this uh, font is called lazy dog and you can combine or pair this font with lexent deca or deca font so before going to the next uh, font combination i'm just going to recommend you guys here uh, two tutorials that i think you are going to really like one uh, i explain how to curve text in canva with just one click there is a new feature and if you don't know yet know that feature yet <laughs> if you don't know that feature yet i think you are going to really like that video and also I'm going to leave another video that many of you really liked, which is the 10 hidden elements uh, in Canva. So yeah, let's go to the next font combination. Okay, so here we have our combo number seven. And this uh, font combination is more grungy or rough street style. And this feeling we get it with this font right here but in order to have more clean designs, not to overwhelm our designs, we need a uh, sans serif and very simple font as the one we see here on combo number, number seven. So let's discover the name of these two fonts. Okay, so for the title, you are going to search for Bebas new Cyrillic and then for the other kind of like a handmade or handwritten font you're going to type just abys or abys um, and also for the body text if you are going to be using some little explanation on your um, designs you are going to use hk grotesque light okay so these are the three fonts that go really well together and also if you want to have this grungy kind of style it would be nice to add some elements like these right here that are going to help you achieve this effect okay let's go to the next combination and here we have our combo number eight these two fonts are going to help us achieve this aesthetic kind of like a new design trend 
this design is uh, also paired with a lot of uh, aesthetic grading over overlays and these gradient overlays are also available in Canva and I give you the keyword to find this element in the video that I suggested just a couple of minutes ago. So let's discover the name of these two fonts. The first font or the title font is Montserrat, oops, it's Montserrat Classic. And yeah, personally I use this one on like most of my designs. So I'm just going to show you uh, that. For example, here we have two text boxes. The first one is space mono, second one is also space mono, but one has a bigger size, so 25 points, and for the text body we have 21. For the subtitle we are using underline, so that's why we have the line under um, the subtitle. So yeah, let's go to the next page and here we have combo number nine. So big, big text or huge text in your designs. This is also going to be very trendy in 2021 as I have seen it in a lot of uh, different articles and different videos re related to this topic. So uh, the font, the huge font that you saw here for the title is a grandeur uh, white black and then for the text body you can use or um, I recommend you to pair it with Muli regular um, font and remember that I'm going to leave you guys the link to all of these presentations that I used uh, in the description of the video in case that you liked any of these styles or any of these elements. I know that many of you like these 3D uh, people <laughs> elements. So yeah, I'm just going to leave all the links in the description of this video. And let's go to the last combination. So this one is a more uh, handmade, kind of like a style or trend or fun combination trend. And here we have the name of the two fonts. So uh, for the title, the name of the font is Homemade Apple. And yeah, I've seen it in a lot of uh, different designs on social media, especially on Instagram. And for uh, the body and the subtitles, you are going to use Muli. So let's go back to Canva. Just going to show you here, we have a uh, two actually different names of uh, fonts so it's not only this option but it's the name so let's type Muli, Muli or Muli <laughs> and here we have all these different weights so for uh, the body text it's only Muli, Muli regular and then for the subtitle you are going to use Muli bold and also activate the bold option. So without the bold option will look like this, but with the bold option is going to be a little bit bigger. Okay, so I guess we reached the end of this video. I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Remember that if you liked any of these fonts, let me know in the comments which one you preferred. I'm also going to leave you guys some tutorials right here that I think you are going to enjoy if you want to learn more about Canva. And I'm also going to leave here an affiliate link in case that you want to try Canva Pro for free for 45 days. That's 15 days more than inside the Canva website. So I hope you liked it and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!